What's up guys, it's Eventin here. Uh, I know this video is gonna be a bit longer cause I'm covering literally four different ships and I try multiple fits with each one and I have to show a little bit of footage uh, of each fit just so you guys know actually how to run these fits because just looking at the fit alone doesn't always explain what your exact like target priority is and all that stuff when running these sites. So down in the description below is gonna have all of the uh, the timestamps for each of the ships, uh, like you know how to run them, things like that, as well as the uh, fits as well for you guys that are kind of impatient, just want to know the fits and get going. That is completely fine as well. So um, I'm actually recommending, let's say three ships. I want to say four, but for whatever reason, I just could not figure it out. I'll explain that one a bit later. But I have two fits for the high sec sites, which high sec, null, and wormhole space. They're all the same difficulty. The only difficulty change is in low sec. So I always take a lot of pride in trying to make alpha fit ships that can run the sites relatively easily because i know when i was a new bro I, there were some event sites going on i wanted to run them but my skills were just too low or people were rec recommending really high skill or extremely expensive fits for a lot of these sites so it's like hey what's a small budget fit i can do with low skills and run these sites efficiently solo and i don't need other people i don't need a multi box so regardless we're going to take a look at the first one and that is the dragoon i tried a handful of different fits i tried dual repping um, which seemed to be a bit overkill. I tried different weapon types as well. Uh, I actually just prefer the rockets as well as the uh, auto cannons up here in the heights. You can technically run any weapon types that you want that uh, that you're just comfortable with. So whether it's uh, three hybrids and two rockets, or I prefer the rockets over the missiles. Uh, the missiles will help you clear the sites faster, but it's not going to help you with the final boss, which the final boss is the main thing that usually kills off most people uh, in these sites. So. Um, I'm going to put the links down in the description below for, for the fits and all that because I don't want to spend too much time with each of these fits or else this video is going to literally be 35 minutes long. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the Dragoon and how I run the sites. All right, and here we're going to try the Dragoon, which for me personally is like the de facto ship I love using for a lot of these very cheap, inefficient SP, ISK, you know, alpha fits for these uh, event sites. So whether it's, uh, I remember doing this relatively same dragoon for the hunt event and it worked out great so i wanted to try it again for this event and it works out great as well so uh, you'll notice here the first thing i'm focusing are all the drones that newt me so how you can actually make it easier for yourself to lock them is if you hold the control key and you left click the the uh, newt icon like i just did right there and just spam click left click it'll lock all the drones that are newting you um within your your lock range to, to be able to kill them since really our only threat in these sites are just if we get newted out and we can't use our armor wrapper as you can see there, that's actually the fit I was using. To, I just purposely gimped myself, so I like really lowered my damage uh, by removing the drone damage amp as well as like two of the two of the rockets and missiles and stuff. So um, here we end up getting a little bit low. We actually go into hole a little bit because purposely again, I'm trying to make these sites as hard as possible. I'm only using one armor repper instead of both. Um, I think having two armor repper reppers is going to be more than enough of a safety blanket for some of you guys uh, that are running these sites, but. Um, I'm running these sites just fine. So even though I'm out here in null sec, it's the same difficulty as the as the uh, null sec as well as the uh, wormhole and high sec sites. So again, we're just running it back, doing the cruiser again. Uh, I have it on approach, just turning on both my guns. And as you can see here, I'm not even like overheating my guns. I'm not doing anything uh, too fancy. I'm using T1 ammo. These sites are going to be super super easy uh, for you guys. And really the only thing that, or that might hold you back is just, you know, kind of the price point. The drones are, uh, on the bit of the expensive side. And again, if you guys are able to upgrade anything on these fits that I'm recommending, you should totally do it just to make it easier on yourself. But yeah, the Dragoon's a great ship. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the next fit that I would also recommend for these sites. All right. And for the second fit, we are actually running the Algos, which runs very similarly to the Dragoon that I recommended earlier. This is mostly if mo the majority of your skills are in like small hybrid turrets, let's say. And something I forgot to say with the other one is if you guys do want to upgrade uh, any of the fits or any of the parts in this fit and just kind of make it work. Like if you are willing to do a dead space small armor repair or if you're willing to do T2 rigs uh, or if you're able to do T2 uh, like ion. Uh, small hybrid weapons to you should totally do that i'm i usually try to put the skill floor as long as i as low as i can with these fits so it's kind of like hey this is the bare minimum but if there is room for upgrades like if you just have really good skills for certain weapon types or defenses and stuff totally do that because it's only going to make the sites easier and it's going to make you uh, run them a bit faster so uh, just running antimatter charge s uh, i know this says we're not cap stable but most of the time we're not really using our guns typically we're only using our guns uh, for the drones that are really tight close to us, there's a handful of drones that will orbit us at like between two to 3,000 uh, meters. 
But all the other ones, we're just going to be using our drones, which I think I forgot to say last time. We're going to be using just Kaldari Hornets because those have a massive amount of shields on those and they'll allow you to actually regen their, regenerate shields like it's kind of between fights and if they get focused a bit. Um, I do have a Kaldari Navy Vespa in here as well because for the boss wave, it's if you can, typically it's good to get out the two Vespas and three uh, small Hornets just to maximize damage. But if you don't do that, I still think you'll be uh, perfectly fine in this fit. So we'll go ahead and take a look at how I run these sites. All right, and this time we're actually using the Algos. And this is, we're going to run this very similarly to the Dragoon. So this one doesn't have as much tank and as much repping power as the Dragoon. But the, the trade off with this is that it actually has a lot of damage, much more damage uh, than the Dragoon itself. So again, locking up all the nuding ships, pressing F to tell my drones to go attack them. Uh, was a little late with my armor repper there. But what I also do too is as I'm uh, clearing out the, the nuding drones with, with the drones that I'm using as well. Uh, I'm also shooting the scavengers that are close by that are actually within range uh, of my antimatter ammo. You can load different ammo to maybe shoot a little bit further. Uh, I just kept it antimatter for the most part because that, that is the ammo you want to be using uh, against the cruiser in the, the very last wave in the second room. But for the most part, these sites are relatively easy. As long as you just clear off the newts, you're running your small armor up for the whole time, you should be fine. So now here is the cruiser spawn um, as it's going to be warping in. Uh, having the drones kind of clear that out. So even though we only have one armor ripper, and honestly, this, this could get a little bit spicy for some of you guys, what you want to do is approach immediately, overheat your antimatter guns, and just start unloading on, on the uh, final cruiser. So you want to get as close as possible, ideally like within like um, probably like three or four uh, thousand meters. So he does web you, so he does kind of keep you at bay for the most part. So the faster you can get on top of him, uh, the better. And so as you can see there, I mean, we got a little bit under uh, half armor, but again, I'm using T1 ammo. I'm using low skills, like everything uh, for the most part is pretty low skill with this. If you guys are able to upgrade anything, I would uh, highly suggest it. Um, and I kind of wanted to show here just this like funny bonus footage for the most part. Um, I was running the Algos and this Kiki Moore showed up to try and steal my site, which was uh, a little upsetting. So what I did was actually go back to my wormhole. I swapped it out for a, uh, for a catalyst because actually earlier, and I'll try and put it up on the screen if I can remember, uh, I actually ended up suspect baiting a worm and I actually ended up killing it because he tried to steal my site. So I got in a catalyst. I just scooped the wreck. The worm started shooting me. So then I just shot him back. I got lucky that um, it did a lot of damage to him. But in this instance, the cruiser was actually focusing me the whole time. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm not, there's no way I'm going to survive this. So I end up uh, scooping the wreck. I end up uh, trying to warp off as fast as I can. I thought I was a goner at this point, but I ended up actually warping away with probably about what was that 6% hole or so? So that was a lot of fun. All right, and that's it for the uh, high sec, I should say, uh, alpha fits. Um, on this one, I will admit, I so this is the Kiki Mora. I'm just going to jump straight into it. These are the low sec sites. I could not get the Kiki Mora to work for the life of me. I tried uh, one of the fits my court mates showed me, and it ended up working pretty well. Um, this one, I honestly just focused the cruiser way too late. It was on grid for like a full five or six seconds before I even noticed it, so it was doing a lot of damage to me. Um, I wasn't even overheating my armor upper, so I ended up cutting this one way too close. So this just goes to show how strong the Kiki is. But again, every single I tried four different fits with the Kiki, and I always ended up in hole. Um, I'm not sure if it was the low sec sites, because for some reason, when I was here in this like series of low sec regions, um, the cruiser was spawning when there were still like 10 to 14 drones still on field shooting the crap out of me. So that part was very difficult. So anytime I was running an AB fit, I would be at half armor by the time the cruiser would show up. And it just made the fight very, very difficult. So there I am. I'm shooting it. I'm overheating both my uh, repper and my entropic disintegrator. I'm well within hull in very dangerous territory. So I'm like, all right, there, there's something going on here. Maybe I'm just fitting it incorrect incorrectly or flying it incorrectly. I'm not entirely sure. So... I don't know. I know some people have had success, some success with the Kiki up to this point, running it in low sec. I would love to see what your guys' fits look like um, and kind of how you guys run them. Or maybe the low sec sites are just in this series are just weird. So again, I'm actually running a micro warp drive fit on this one. I'm just trying to keep everything as far away as possible so I can have as much armor as I can. Um, and this kind of leads me to the second issue I had with the Kiki, which is just having to cycle and decycle the entropic disintegrator, not only just kind of killing drones, but there's just a lag between I would click it and it's actually going, but it's not visually showing like up on the module. And then I would click it again that it would like accidentally turn off. So I actually decycled my entropic disintegrator twice against this cruiser, which almost ended up getting me killed. So 
I'm just not a huge fan of the Kiki. I haven't used it that much in PvE content. In PvP, I usually just orbit, get in a tight orbit, start turning it on. It's a very, very strong ship. Uh, but again, I even tried a dual, dual armor rep on this one. Again, there's still just way too many drones in the site, and I just always have like half armor by the time the cruiser shows up. So again, I'm literally overheating everything, getting as close as, uh, as I can. Um, I think it was this wave. You, you could tell that sometimes the cruiser actually warps in on you, and it's like probably 25 kilometers away. So for a whole like 7 or like 15 kilometers, it starts shooting you before it's even within occult range, at least for my ship. So... At least me personally, I just cannot make the Kiki Mora work. It's just a ship I cannot recommend, which is why earlier in the video, I'm like, I kind of have a ship recommendation, but not really. It's a good ship, but I think I'm either just flying it incorrectly or the fit's weird. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. All right, and last but not least, and the one I personally recommend for the low sex sites, I'm sure you guys have other fits. I've seen people doing the Synesis as well as some other sites for, for low sec, but this is the one I personally recommend. It is by far the easiest, most like semi AFK friendly. Uh, relatively low skills compared to the Kiki Mora, which is Omega Fit. This is, I'm pretty sure this is also an Alpha Fit uh, as well to run the low sex sites. It does require some higher skills and a little bit of ISK, uh, ever, especially since that the worm has increased in price a lot in Jita. So as you can tell, I tried about four different fits uh, for the worm to try and get the best one possible. Uh, strangely enough, this is the one I recommend. I, I know some people had uh, some some different stuff down here in the low slots, but Considering this, I again, I'm running the rockets because the whole point is to be able to kill the boss as fast as possible. So occasionally I would use the javelins in order to kind of clear the site a little bit quicker for some of the, the guys that were um, attacking me. But the rig slots are just field extenders as well as the EM shield enforcer. Uh, we usually don't take too much thermal damage. Uh, it is mostly, uh, I think, like EM, uh, kinetic explosive. Plus, plus, I just wanted like the extra shield buffer as well as the recharge rate that the uh, extra field extender provided. These mid slots, I'm literally just using like meta mid slots. Uh, what this means is that you can use the meta stuff, but if you don't feel comfortable or if you are willing to bling out the mid slots, you definitely can. So you can run the Kaldari Navy as well as the Republic fleet versions of all three of these like uh, shield extenders. But it was just mainly just the only way I could make uh, everything fit. So as you can see here with the Rage Rockets, if I'm overloading everything, at least with my skills, as well as again, Caldari Navy Hornets. I'm using the same drones for literally all the ships. I'm pushing almost 300 damage. So I, some of you guys might have higher skills with rockets as well as just missile uh, specialization skills in general. But typically, this is usually more than enough damage. I have more than enough buffer in order to take the, the boss. I never ended up in armor in this ship. I usually only got to about maybe 30 or 40% shield. We'll go ahead and see here uh, in a little bit. But this, this is personally the, the fit I would and the ship I would recommend. I know you guys have some other fits. Uh, that might use uh, like medium ansel shield boosters and all that kind of stuff but this is the one i personally recommend and it's the most uh, semi afk friendly so we'll go ahead and jump in to see how i run the fit all right so we'll take a look at the worm and this is the one i honestly just recommend like i said earlier before uh, i will say the kiki is much better at clearing let's say you know all the trash mobs i guess you could call it leading up to the final boss cruiser uh in the last wave uh, but the the buffer fit of the, of the worm is just so nice like you could just take so much damage uh, you could take a, a lot of beating and i like the micro warp drive fit because uh, i'm going to show here in a little bit that eventually when you clear out all of the the newts and you clear out the webs you get into this really deep orbit of about 30 kilometers around a wreck or the the main gate and everything is just far away they're not de dealing as much damage uh to you just because you're just kind of keeping everything at range uh, the drones are extremely strong i mean you get that huge buff to them which is also why i recommend the the faction drones because they have better tracking as well as like tons of hp uh that stack really well with the uh worm bonus so as you can see here like all the i just try to in that second room i try to actually kite pretty far away just in case a someone tries to steal the room from me and two um it kind of gives it buys time for my drones as well as uh myself to kind of clear out some of the, the mobs like before they uh land on top of us and stuff so um just to kind of show you here this is kind of an example like eventually you want to get to this point where you, you're into a deep orbit and you're just clearing stuff off with your drones and eventually you get to the point where you don't even have to shoot rockets now you can use javelins um, if you want to kind of clear the sites a little bit faster uh, i just kept with the rage rockets for the most part because you definitely want to use rage when that cruiser comes in uh, on the last row and overheat and this is what i mean before like the, the cruiser is finally warping in and there's only five drones left on the field but when i was doing it at the kiki there were still like 10 to 14 drones left on the field so i i th really think it was I think maybe the Kiki fits were fine, but maybe just the sights were bugged. I don't know what it was, but 
regardless, when when you get the worm and you land on grid uh, with the cruiser, you just want to basically headbutt the cruiser. Just ram right into it, overheat your rockets, make sure you put your drones on it, because that's where most of your damage is coming from. And just, just focus it down. And I think at this point, we didn't even get below 40% shield. So um, I just like the worm because it just seems infinitely safer, way simpler to run. Um, I don't have to deal with juggling between ammo types and making sure I'm cycling my entropic disintegrator and all this other stuff. You could, for most of the site, you can quite literally let your drones do all of the work and only use your rockets for the boss wave, boss wave if you wanted to, but that's up to you at the end of the day. So um, yeah, I'm really curious what kind of low sec solo fits have you guys been doing them or if you guys been doing the high sec, you can let me know what kind of fits or ships you've been using those as well. I'm very curious. Um, not too concerned or interested to be honest about like the multi-boxing fits because i mean you could you probably use two t1 frigates and run these sites just fine or even three of them but more curious about the the solo versions as well as the low sec uh, as well so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or concerns put them down in the comments below and i'll answer them as soon as i can so hope you guys take care and you fly safe